Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today is episode 500. That's right, 500 reviews. I've been doing this YouTube thing for over three and a half years now and I finally hit this special milestone. So, really looking forward to sharing a very special beer with you guys. This is none other than Jackie O's Bourbon Barrel Age Champion Ground. This is a one-off Imperial Stout that they brewed, and they didn't know exactly what they wanted to do with it. So, they let it age in bourbon barrels for 11 months, and right before packaging, they decided to add Jamaican Blue Mountain Coffee to this, which is supposedly some of the best and most expensive coffee on planet Earth. As a matter of fact, you can find that in a few of the Alesmith Speedway Stout variants. So, really cool stuff. And they released this during their latest bottle release. That was the only way it was available, really. So, kind of difficult to get your hands on. Unfortunately, I had to miss the bottle release, but luckily, I had a good buddy hook me up, really hook me up with this one, because it was super duper limited and it sounded awesome. And before I get into the actual review, guys, I just want to give a big, big shout out and a huge thank you to everyone that has been watching and commenting on my videos, to all my subscribers. You guys rock. I really would not be here doing this without you guys, so I really appreciate it. I also want to give a few personal shout outs to DJ over at DJ's BrewTube, Joe or Average Joe as he's known here on YouTube, Paul over at PA Brew News, Peter, the master of hoppets of course, Kevin over at Clement's Home Brew, Brad over at Brews Under Review, and Dave or Dr. Dave the Beer Professor. You guys all rock. Awesome, awesome stuff. Please go check out their accounts guys. They do some awesome, awesome stuff. Without further ado, I've been looking forward to this beer for a while. At time of recording, this was packaged about six weeks ago. Let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh my god, wow. Oh my god, that smells fantastic. Up front, I get this really nice, sweet, rich bourbon character. Immediately followed by vanilla, a little bit of a toasted coconut kind of thing. Subtle amount of oak, this really rich, bittersweet, dark chocolate. A little bit of a milk chocolate thing going on as well. And I'm surprised. I get some coffee roasted notes, but it's not as coffee for it as I would have expected from this. Yeah, it's got a really nice kind of medium roast level coffee smell, and there's some like caramel and toffee notes in there as well, but it's not as big in the coffee as I would have assumed. Definitely getting some milk chocolate, a little bit of a roasted malt character as well, but man, this has a lot going on. I'll tell you this much though, does not smell boozy whatsoever. Yeah, that smells fantastic. Let's go ahead, take our first sip. Cheers, guys. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Oh man, that's crazy. Up front, just like in the aroma, I am getting this really rich, smooth, sweet bourbon. Immediately followed by vanilla, coconut, nice subtle kind of oaky presence in there as well. Oh man, wow. After that, I'm definitely getting some of that dark chocolate, milk chocolate combination. I am getting a little bit more of that coffee note in there now, but again, it really wasn't too present in the nose, but it's got this really nice kind of espresso, kind of light roasted, medium roasted coffee bean kind of taste to it. Really, really nice. There's also some caramel and toffee sweetness in there, getting a little bit of almost like a burnt sugar on the back end of it all together, but... Wow, this has just layers and layers of complexity, tons and tons of flavor. I mean, it's crazy because, you know, it's just everything really, really well balanced. It's like bourbon and then vanilla and then you get chocolate and then you get oak and then you get coffee and then you get like caramel and it's just, wow, it's like a flavor explosion but every single note is in there. Oh my God. Mmm. Wow. Damn. That is so good. And they actually had this on tap down there 
for a small amount of time, too. I can't even imagine having this on tap. Just really, really well done. It's definitely on the medium side of full. It's got a little bit of a thinner body than I was expecting. It's not thin. It's just thinner than I was expecting for this style. It does have a slightly creamy kind of mouthfeel to it. There's a little bit of like a sticky glaze on my lips, but... Wow, this is pretty good. And for 11%, the alcohol is really well integrated. I didn't smell any. I don't taste any. I get a definite warmth as it goes down. But, I mean, it's six weeks old and it's, you know, an almost year old bourbon barrel aged beer. So, go figure. There's going to be a little bit of warmth, but it's not, you know, bad at all. And I got to say, for having all these sweeter notes, it's not a cloyingly sweet beer. Just really, really well done. Mmm. I will say this much though, it is a sipping beer, but this is just so decadent, so rich. That barrel, the bourbon and the barrel with that vanilla and coconut and oak just complement each other so well. And then you get those chocolate notes, the toffee, the caramel, the coffee, just really, really nice. It's like this smooth espresso. It's like a chocolate covered espresso bean, and then you get like vanilla and you get bourbon and it's just, wow, fantastic beer. My only regret, I don't have another bottle. So, yeah, that, that's about it. If you guys can find this one, it is well worth checking out. So, in terms of rating, I'm going with a 9.9 out of 10. This is easily one of the best Jackie O's beers I have ever, ever had. And it's easily one of the best beers I've had all year. Now, the only reason I'm not giving it a full 10 out of 10 is the body is a little bit thinner than I was hoping for. Again, not thin, just thinner than I was expecting for the style, but... It's a minor nitpick for an overwhelmingly just awesome, decadent, rich, and flavorful beer. Again, if you guys can check this one out, please go do so. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to hit that like button, because you know what? It just makes me feel good. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.